Yes, friends, Chalala and Carney Floral Designs is alive and well in Newcastle. Owner and designer Stephen Doherty and his staff have a special motto. We love what we do, and it shows in every area of the business. Stop by their pleasant Southside store at 1006 South Mill Street. Chalala and Carney has been there for the community with quality and service since 1943. You can go to the website, chalalaandcarney.com, or call 724-652-8412. The Commonwealth, located downtown in the Riverplex, a great rock and roll sandwich beer bar. They just have so much to offer, featuring signature sandwiches that will make your mouth water. Entertainment and a comfortable atmosphere. The Commonwealth in the Riverplex. You deserve a revitalization at Mary Turner's Day Spa and Beauty Boutique. The staff will make sure you relax and rejuvenate with their high quality products and services. They take pride to give you a tranquil environment. Mary Turner's Day Spa at 2539 Wilmington Road in New Shannock Township. Call to book a spa appointment at 724-657-657. 5156. That's 657-5156. Whether it's a scheduled appointment or same-day service, DiCaprio Carpet Cleaning offers 24-7 service for commercial, industrial, and residential, as well as fire and water damage restoration. Using state-of-the-art technology, DiCaprio Carpet Cleaning experts are ready to professionally clean your carpet today. Call DiCaprio Carpet Cleaning for a free in-home estimate. Thank you for making us Lawrence and Mercer County's largest carpet cleaner. And remember, nobody gets your carpet cleaner. Good morning! Yes, we made it to Tuesday. It is the 10th of May. I, I think I have my bearings straight. But <laughs> you can't tell because I've been doing so much doggone stuff that it's unbelievable. Let's, um, what do you say we get to the mailbag first? And, uh, you know, we have happy birthdays to go here. And uh, I seem to have lost my happy birthday list. Wah, 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 wah. Okay, since we can't talk about our birthday list, let's talk about Barnana. Yeah, I said Barnana. And and they talk about healthy snacks and uh, they're following NCTV 45. I'd like to thank them for that. The governor writes in, and you know what? I, I, I like the guy, okay? But here he's talking about a round table on opiate abuse. abuse. Don't do drugs. I'm sorry, I don't buy the, the, the whole notion that you could be weak to any temptation that befalls you. There comes a time when you have to climb the ladder and know what the heck is going on. And our callers seem to agree. Now, um... Here's an opening exhibit, and we're going to talk about this uh, some more. The, it looks beautiful. I have to give the weight to that on this. I can't wait to show you this on Newswatch. By definition, an illustration is commonly referred to as pictures illustrated in a book. 
John Manders. This is what I was telling you about, was educated at the Art Institute in Pittsburgh and took courses at the School of Visual Arts and Fashion Institute of Tech Institution Institute of Technology in New York. He studied children's illustrations. His collection will be featured at the Hoyt. Work published in eight children's magazines. Many of those books available at the Hoyt gift shop. And uh, he has a bachelor's and a master's in elementary education. This is on display. Thank you. Oh, thank you. May 10th through July 30th. I've been trying to tell you about this. Oh, it, it's beautiful, and I'll make sure I do a special segment. Thank you to the people at the Hoyt for getting that out to me. I was, you know, you have dictation software, and sometimes it just goes out the window. Leanne Cagney, thank you for joining the NCTV45 family. And um, just a whole lot. Ambit Energy is always around. Make sure you give Ambit Energy a try. They'll save you some money. And, um, you know, time's flying by fast here, and I don't even know what to say. And Naples Middleton. Well, there you have it. <laughs> she, she enjoys NCTV45, and we get frequent things in from her. So um, just a whole bunch of stuff going on. Happy anniversary to Mark Francesio and Lynn Francesio. And... Uh, 35 years. Wow. Apparently, he's uh, he's following my script. Be your wife's best friend. And, uh, you know, we should tell you what the temperature is. Currently, outside, 44 degrees. And scattered showers last night. We'll get into that in Crane Room weather. Who the heck wants to talk about the rain? Wow. Now... In a walkabout Lawrenceville, they have a showdown over a historic Civil War row house. And that's in the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette. You know, it's like a house that you'd see in Mahoning Town. I don't know. <laughs> we got to get you the song of the day. I, and I'm racing. Here we go. Now, that was the song of the day, and here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take a quick break. We're going to go to sponsors. When we come back, a whole bunch of things. This program furnished by the MAD Unit, Mobile Auto Detailing, C. Michael Sad at the madunit.com Hello folks, Angelo Parada for Ferrone Brothers. Wow, you have to try their food. Great Italian food and two locations on the south side on Mill Street and on Wilmington Road in Newcastle. Ferrone Brothers for pepperoni rolls, pizza, any Italian dish that you can imagine. Okay, and a whole lot more. It's Ferrone Brothers. Stop by. They have those daily specials, and they look forward to seeing you. Tell them NCTV45 sent you. Hello, friends. Are you a person on the go? Do you need snacks, cookies, maybe just a deli sandwich, lottery, or gas? It's Geno's in Mahoning Town for all your needs. Stop by Geno's and tell them NCTV45 sent ya. If you're having a party, 
then Keystone Specialty is the place you need to go. Yes, they have every party supply that you can imagine. Planning that wedding, that graduation, or maybe it's just that big game that's coming up. Go to Keystone Specialty. Party supplies and so much more. Remember, they have those fall decorations, winter, spring, and summer. It's Keystone Specialty on the south side of Newcastle, Mill Street. Yes, happy, happy, happy Tuesday, the 10th. Oh, geez, oh man, I'm, we're, we're uh, making it through here. And, um, you know, the Kentucky Derby was last weekend. What Kentucky Derby first did favorite regret achieve in 1915? What was the first? Favored Regret was the first filly to win the famed horse race. Regret won. He was the first. She was the first filly. Can't say he was the first filly. It was a she was the first filly. I don't know. I'm not big on her horses running around in a circle. Now, as we go through Song of the Day. Give you another little tidbit. There you go. We got you stumped this morning. I know it. And just to give you an idea, over at the library, stay calm and color. I never try to get nervous when I color, but Stay Calm and Color is at 9 o'clock, and Walk Alive is at 12.30. So uh, that's, a, that's a biggie there. And, uh, you know, as I fumble through, getting, getting our stuff straight for the day, you're probably saying, what about sports? Well, the Buckos... The good news, they're in second place. Seven and a half back of the Cubs. The bad news is uh, they're just not on that catch fire type thing. As they're in Cincinnati, uh, you know, I mean, they need to pick it up a little bit. Now, um, what about the Indians? Well, they're five back of the White Sox. But don't worry. I have total confidence in the Indians. Cleveland finds a way to snatch defeat from the jaws of victory all the time. And, yeah, the Cavs, what, what am I going to tell you? The Cavs won, and they're in the Eastern Conference final, and... They're waiting on who they're going to play. Uh, you know, last night it was Miami and Toronto and Portland and Golden State. And uh, what can I tell you? It, you know, things are going good in the East. Now, that was the Cedars Sports Corner. And make sure you get up to Cedars. You know, on Monday they have wings. On Tuesday they have those burger specials. And they are fantastic. Absolutely. I enjoy it all the time. And I, that special diet shows it, you know. Now, as we go through, let me get rid of that. And uh, I bet you're not getting the weather just yet. You know, you're going to have to wait. I got to put on these glasses. I see a guy walking over here. I'll give him a wave. Okay, now it's time for... Pigskin potpourri. True or false? The, what's this? A stim, I never heard of this. A stim meter is used to measure the spiral of a thrown football. A stim meter. 
Who the heck does that? False. The name for Stempenson, Ed Stempenson, who developed a 1935 stemp meter, is used in golf to measure the speed of the greens on the golf course. Really? Must have had too much time on his hands. You know, now as we uh, continue through uh, this Tuesday, uh, we went to the mailbag and uh, we've been uh, taking a look at uh, Facebook that gives all these uh, great pictures and everything we said happy happy anniversary to the anniversary couple and uh, you know I was surprised and that's really why I went to Facebook uh, because I was looking to see if anybody had birthdays in our uh, little thing here and I actually might have found the day where nobody was born. Wow. That's amazing. Now, they did have a tribute to, and uh, it says Charles Mazel, and that's from Ann Pasquarella, and that was at St. Vitus as um, that was on Facebook and uh, I was just totally uh, amazed. Jack Coza, happy Mother's Day to Mama Rose. That's a beautiful picture, Jack. I'm amazed. You didn't break the camera or anything. I have to get on Jack because Jack didn't watch Cook in the Castle. And Pat Amabel talking about UPMC Jameson and uh, at the hospital this morning to check on his mom wishing her a successful procedure. Well, we wish her the best and she's in all everybody's prayer. My lovely wife took a picture with her mother and uh, that was nice. Now, we better check the time here because if I don't, I'm going to be out, out of time, which I am. So when we come back, well, right after The Pokeberry Exchange at 41 North Mercer Street has gifts galore that'll make you want to explore lamps, homemade lamps of every shape and color that will excite any room in your house. Wind chimes hang from the door to give that sweet sound. Sweet soaps and teas, embroidered towels, and much more. It's the Pokeberry Exchange. It's yours to explore. Hey, don't you just love the Dorels? Well, you can hear the Dorels. Get some great food and have lots of fun. Dance the day away. And all to benefit a great cause. Yes, it benefits a five-year-old who's been diagnosed with cancer. And we know how devastating that can be. This will help with medical and travel expenses. When is the benefit dance? Well, it is Sunday, May 22nd. And it's at the beautiful Cascade Park Dance Hall. Yeah, you know, you've been out there. You've had all those great memories. And right at Cra Cascade Park and music by the Durrells. From 5 to 9, it's BYOB, so feel free to bring your own beverages that you choose. Advanced tickets are $15. Tickets are available at the door, and it includes a macaroni dinner, 
Chinese auction, a 50-50 drawing, and tickets donated by Whiting Roloff will be used. So a lot of great people are behind this benefit dance, and I hope you are. So mark your calendar, May 22nd. It's the Durrells at the beautiful Cascade Park Pavilion. Hope to see you there. On target printing 1319 West State Street, no job is too big or too small. Turn around on most jobs 24 hours. We make you look good on paper. Town and country where there's always a party. Yes, every weekend there's something to do. And there's always great food for you too. Lamb, finger food, steak sandwiches, broasted wings, and much, much more. It's a party and you're invited. Come to town and country. The Pokeberry Exchange at 41 North Mercer Street has gifts galore that'll make you want to explore. Lamps, homemade lamps of every shape and color that will excite any room in your house. Wind chimes hang from the door to give that sweet sound. Sweet soaps and teas, embroidered towels, and much more. It's the Pokeberry Exchange. It's yours to explore. Today's programming is brought to you by NCTV 45 and NC Radio 450, Newcastle's community television station. Welcome, welcome, as always. Um, Kelly Ray, congratulations with Darlene Alfredo on graduation day. And uh, congratulations, Kelly. You know what? That is just a super picture. Hope you enjoyed that, uh, that special day. And they didn't put from where, you know? sometimes well let's get to what you've been wanting to know crane room 45 weather last night 44 in showers what's your tuesday look like well showers likely i near 61 chance of showers is 60 percent so uh, take the bumper shoot with you. Showers tonight, low 51, chance 60%. <laughs> and here for a beautiful Wednesday, a chance of showers and thunderstorms before 2, then showers likely from 2 to 3. The chance of showers and thunderstorms, 60%. The high 71, so you got 61, 51, 71. And then 56 Wednesday night, the chance of showers continues at 40%. So stay in the house. Watch NCTV 45. That was Crane Room 45 weather. And uh, please don't blame them for the rain. <laughs> you know, uh, just unbelievable amount of precipitation that we have had over these past few days and um, I see the Testas enjoyed a uh, Mother's Day dinner with the family a lot of people say Anthony looks like me uh, the dad you know but I keep saying geez oh man I look that bad I don't know I was talking to the, the guys this, this day now how are you going to be your wife's best friend well I'm going to tell you Here's your tip of the day on how to become your wife's best friend. Make a habit on Sunday night. Sweetheart car checks. That's when you check all the fluids in her car and fill it with gas. 
Ask her to pick a video you rent or, you know, sometimes you get them on the cable systems and uh, rent one together. I'm sure she's not going to watch Rudy with you. So, um, or to be your wife's best friend, here's what you could do. Go to open mic night at the Confluence. Now, there's an idea. The Confluence right across the street from Washington Center. You could go enjoy some great music and, uh, you know, have a good time. Now, you're probably wondering about this song of the day. I'm going to have to kick it over a notch and let you try it. artist, the title, and I'm throwing in the year. Yeah, yeah I have to throw in the year because you know what? I got so many people going on this. This, this song uh, on the morning show, this has become what everybody wonders about. And uh, yeah, I'm going through my papers. You know what? You don't like it? Get your own show. <laughs> now, we did the song of the day. I'm telling you that out at Town and Country, RC Double Talk. So that gives you that. But now, what are you telling me? Oh, I know. You're hungry. Well, today, at the Beanery Depot in Delhi, pepperoni stick. Italian sub and stuffed pepper. Of course, you can build your own burrito whenever the heck you want down at the Commonwealth. And it's time for that Friday the 13th uh, things that uh, you might want to know. Twisted minds were born. Alfred Hitchcock was born on Friday the 13th. Yes, that's right. The film director was uh, with a seriously twisted mind. Okay, was born on this faithful day. If that's no reason to stay home, then I don't know what is, but I'm not going to stay home. You know, geez, oh man, big deal. He had a birthday on Friday the 13th. Okay. The war took a turn for the worse. The Nazis dropped a bomb on Buckingham Palace on Friday the 13th, September 1940, as part of the Blitz. During World War II, the royal family was apparently taking tea at the time. <laughs> One lump or two. And uh, planes crashed on Friday the 13th, October 1972. A plane crashed in the Andes. Twelve people died instantly, and more were killed in an avalanche later. Well, if the plane crash didn't get you, the snow did. And uh, just a little reminder that, um, and I can't find out where my little reminder is because it went away. Son of a gun. I was going to tell you about something good going on. Oh, yes, here it is. It's Ladies' Night Out tonight, 5.30 to 8, and that's up at the Diagnostic Imaging Center, uh, and that is Sharon Regional Health. Okay, because they're, they're having that. It's a health event. Call 800-451-5599. Go up. It's a free event. Ladies night out. Yeah. That'll be absolutely super. Now when we come back, I'm gonna give you a helpful everyday hint. We've got the song of the day. We're gonna wrap it up. Right after Look what you'll find at Paul D. Weller Hardware. Lawn and garden supplies, plumbing and electrical supplies. 
do-it-yourself items, pipe bending, window screen, and key making services, tools of all kinds, paint, fans, ladders, rodent traps, bug spray, and that's just some of what you'll be able to purchase at Paul D. Weller Hardware at 207 North Liberty Street in the Mahoning Town section of Newcastle. Call 724-652-1531. Funding for this program provided by Washington Center Physical Therapy, Norm A. Gabriel, MSPT, ATC owner. This program made possible by a grant from Melva's Deja Vu, where everything old is new again. If you're craving pizza and more, then Little Johnny's 2 wants you to come through the door. Their menu includes many pizza varieties, jumbo wings, hoagies, calzones, strombolis, flatbread sandwiches, bread bowl salads, soups, and more. Dine in, take out, or have them delivered. Little Johnny's 2 can even cater your next party. Their prices are right, and the food is the way you expect it. Little Johnny's 2 is located at 130 East Washington Street in downtown Newcastle. Call 724-657-2210. Welcome back. And, you, you know, you're not going to believe who just called in here. I, I don't even believe it. It was Padula. Hey, what do you want? I asked him. He said, well, you know, I was trying to up our show a little bit, trying to do some cooking, and I burnt dinner. And I can't get rid of the smell. Well, listen, here's your helpful hint for the day. Boil a cup of vinegar, two caps of water, put it out, and the burnt smell will be gone in 15 minutes, just like that. So there, you know, Padola, I'm trying to help you out. Now, let me tell you what we're going to do. We are going to give you the song of the day. See if you can guess it. And here it is. There you go. Do you have an answer? I knew I had you stumped. 1987, Valerie by Stephen Winwood. Yeah, Steve Winwood. What? I can still see it playing on VH1. You know. Hey, what am I going to tell you? Hopefully, you get out, tell a friend about NCTV 45. Enjoy NCTV 45. We're available anytime on your time. And, you know, you just keep those positive comments coming. And uh, I have only one thing left to say. This is for my buddy Gary. Gary, you can't get a suntan today. It's raining. See, I fooled you, Gare. Now, and it's important for me to mention this, because the 15th, we're going to do it for Gary West. He has that retinosis. We got to raise this money so that he can have that procedure done. Please remember it. I put it on Newswatch, and I have it out there, and I'm going to be pushing hard for it. Now, as I always say, and this one's for you, Gary, make sure you tell a friend about NCTV 45. And by all means, make sure you get that second cup of coffee and have a super day in what I call the greatest castle in the world, in the County of Lawrence. Have a great day, everybody, and we'll see you on down the road.